Hi, this is Stefan again with Kinetic Flow Fashion Body Works. So today, what we're going to go over is four simple things you can do while driving to help keep your body healthy and alert. So the first thing we'll touch on is the rear view mirror. Let's use this as our accountability buddy. And what I mean by that is it's going to be our friend that helps us remember our posture. So the tendency a lot of people have is to adjust it to wherever they are when they're slouching. So what we want to do is engage in a way that we feel light and lifted, just enough that you don't feel rigid and that you feel you can still take a full breath. That's really important. So I, I feel light and lifted in my body. Now I go ahead and adjust my rear view mirror. Great. This is going to be my accountability buddy now. If I start slouching instead of reaching my hand over here, I'm using this as a cue and a reminder to get myself back in position. This is going to help with circulation throughout my body and nerve conduction, which will help with my reaction times and help keep me safe as I drive and also give me a little bit of a core workout as I drive. Again, you're only engaging enough to feel light and lifted. The second thing we can do is uh, regarding our back a lot of people put a lot of emphasis on lumbar support but where I'd like you to put some emphasis is actually in your thoracic spine that's where we're gonna focus our attention with a little bit of a bolster you can get creative with what kind of bolster you use and what I mean by that is in this case I've got a hand towel that I put some tape around so what I can do is just reach this behind me right between my shoulder blades and now I've got something that helps keep my chest nice and open and helps me feel light and lifted in my body. Now, if it's hard for you to place it like this, you can consider putting a string on there one way or another, or you can consider rolling up a towel roll. So this is the one from the video where I describe 10 different ways to get relief with your feet up the wall. And in this case, I put it along my spine. I don't need to go all the way to my low back. Remember, the point of focus is between the shoulder blades. And again, the reason I'm doing this is to keep my upper body nice and open and unlocked to allow for efficient blood flow and nerve conduction. This helps me stay healthy and alert while driving. So that's something to consider. Next up, number three, is looking at the steering wheel. It is worth your while to ensure that your hand positioning is either at 10 and 2 or 3 and 9. Reason for that is that again it allows us to stay nice and open through the upper body ensuring adequate blood flow and circulation. The tendency some people have is to be high like this and unfortunately there's two issues with this among others potentially. One of them is that I'm creating more congestion and compression through this area from my core into my extremities and that can compromise my reaction time. The other issue is if I were to get in an accident, a lot of uh, vehicles have an airbag right here in the steering wheel. So if my hand's over here and that airbag opens up, I'm going to be knocking myself out. So to eliminate risks and hazards, I encourage 10 and 2 or 3 and 9. All right, let's explore the fourth thing you can do while driving. This one, we're going to look down at the feet. So this has to do with the lower body. The tendency that a lot of people have when driving is for their foot. If this one hand represents my uh, gas pedal, this hand represents my foot. A lot of people have a tendency to let the legs kind of flop out and they press the gas at 45 degrees like this. Now, in the long run, this can be an issue for people, especially those who have issues with compression on the sciatic nerve. This, predispose, this position with my feet pointed outwards predisposes me to a condition that used to be known as piriformis syndrome. Now it's being referred to as deep gluteal pain syndrome. Fancy words to imply that the sciatic nerve is being compressed. Some of you may have also experienced this if you have your wallet in your back pocket while you drive. That can also be a point of compression on the sciatic nerve or some of the other nerves. So all that to say, check your legs and do your best to make sure to internally rotate your whole legs so that your foot is in line with the gas pedal when you're driving. And that said, if you're driving an automatic, you also want to make sure that the tendency to let that left leg flop against the door is mitigated and make sure that it's also um, 
with feet pointed up. Once again, this helps with circulation and blood flow and nerve conduction from my core to my lower extremities, which will also help me with my reaction time, my alertness, and my overall health. Okay, so those are four simple things we can do. Again, to recap, we're going to adjust our rear view mirror. That's our accountability buddy to ensure that we stay nice and light and lifted. We've got some kind of a bolster between our shoulder blades to ensure that we're nice and open through the chest here to allow optimal blood flow. We've got our hands on the steering wheel in a way that also helps ensure that we have adequate circulation throughout the upper extremities. And then finally, we have our feet in line with the gas pedal so that we're also improving circulation down into the lower extremities. So I hope this was valuable for you. If you can think of anyone else that could benefit from this information, please go ahead and share it with them. And if you haven't already, please like and subscribe to the channel and uh, stay tuned for lots more great tips. And next time you watch, if you want to jump ahead or behind to any segment, just look down in the descriptions. I've put some timestamps so that you can review any part of this talk. Until next time, good health to you and your thoughts.